Now, uh, Leslie is the Deputy Chief Executive at St Andrew's Hospice. Now, people have done so many things to, to raise money for the hospice, skydives, jumble sales, you, you name it, it's been done. But I think you've done something that's never been done before. Tell us about it, please. Yeah, never been done before. I don't think it has, has actually. Um, so, um, in my spare time, I like to think that I can play the guitar a bit. Um, and uh, my staff know about this and they challenge me to do a virtual event with the lockdown um, and a lot of the fundraising really impacted. Uh, we've been trying to think of different ways in which we can raise funds for the hospice. So I said that I would uh, create a song and because I can't sing at all, um, I enlisted the help of uh, a musician friend of mine, Mark Smith, who's got a fantastic, uh, very Chris Rea type singing voice and we created a song virtually online we never uh, met because we were obviously socially distancing at the time we were all locked down um and so we literally did it over the web virtually passed the files backwards and forwards and came up with the, the finished product i bet when you saw that uh, that email or that file that said uh, finished version final version i bet you're like a kid at christmas Honestly, it, it's so exciting. It's all left and right brain stuff, this, isn't it? I think um, deep down I've got a, a creative that's just bursting to get out. Um, and, yeah, it's it's really quite an achievement. It's a bit like writing a book, isn't it? It's one of those things on your bucket list uh, to to get a song to actually land and, and be received really well. And we've had such positive feedback from it, how people love it and how it resonates with how people are feeling at this time. So uh, explain it to us then, what's, what's the deal now? People download it and that raises money for, for the hospice. How, how does it all work? Yeah, so um, basically the, there's a link on the uh, Facebook for St Andrews and there's a link also to the Just Giving page. And if uh, people want to pop on there, have a listen to the song, share it, share it uh, with people on their social media. Um, and if they'd like to make a donation to the hospice, there's a little link there, just the usual thing, click Give us your gift aid as well, so we can add it up by another 25%, uh, and all of the money goes straight to the hospice. Fantastic. Well, we can't talk about it all this much and, and then not hear not it. I've heard it. it. No, that would that would be completely weird, <laughs> wouldn't it? Here, here's the song we've been talking about, Let's Play Queen. Uh, no, that would be weird. Uh, <laughs> so uh, it's been lovely to uh, lovely to speak to you the, the, this morning. You do the introduction for us uh, for the song whenever you're ready, please. Thanks ever so much, Ross. Yep, this is a song for everybody called Feel Your Smile.
gotta feel your smile. Yeah, I can feel your smile. Yeah, I can feel your smile. Isn't that just great? We love it here. Hope you enjoyed it too. Uh, Leslie Charlesworth Brown from St Andrew's Hospice on guitar. Mark Smith on vocals and their charity song, uh, Feel Your Smile. It's a bit like when uh, George Michael and uh, Aretha Franklin recorded I Knew You Were Waiting For Me. Different sides of the Atlantic, but you would never, ever guess, like they were standing next to each other. But a song done from different studios, all done socially distanced. And uh, as Leslie said, you can download it, raise your money for the hospice, all the details on their Facebook page. And good to support local charities, local good causes. It's what we're here for at Compass FM. If there is something we should be shouted about, pleasure to do it. Get in touch on the website, drop me a message on Facebook, give me a bell, and we'll sort something out. Breakfast with UK Eco Energy Solutions for solar batteries.